This is a $14 million, 13,000 square foot mega mansion with its own private tennis court, huge pool area, ocean views, and so many other things. And we're about to tour the entire property right now. So let's get started. Beginning our tour from the exterior, we have a massive four-car driveway, further taking you into your four-car garage area. Spanish architecture looks amazing. We've got a nicely landscaped front entry. And when you're coming up to the front door, you even have ocean views framed by these palm trees right here, which truly looks remarkable. And then of course, we've got your covered off entry with your double door access. And now let's head inside. All right, everyone, so we have just made it inside of the property. First coming in, we have Spanish tiling all throughout. And you come down this staircase and just go ahead and take a look at this open atrium assembly for a moment, framed with a beautiful skylight, positioned on the ceiling, letting in natural light to every single floor of the property. Very unique staircase design, taking you up to level three and down below into level one, which we will be seeing in just a bit. But I wanna take you guys all to my left-hand side right here, and we have access into your amazing living room section. We're getting tons of natural light from all of these floor-to-ceiling windows. And while you're relaxing in this family space, you're getting panoramic ocean views, views to Catalina Island, all the way to Palos Verdes. It's a tremendous view. And you'll notice on the far side of the space, we have your built-in fireplace section positioned in the center of the room. And if you look closely, you actually have unique brick details inside of the fireplace. The staging throughout the property is really nice and kind of beach themed. If you look right over here, you have the seashells positioned all throughout, really nice staging. I just wanted to mention that feature. Of course, we have two built-in ceiling fans above me, extremely high ceilings, very open concept layout. I can see straight over into my formal dining section and down into my kitchen, which we will be seeing in just a bit. But first things first, I wanna take you guys all out to this private balcony. You have this French door access taking you to see some of the most breathtaking ocean views we have ever seen on this channel. Of course, as I said, views to Catalina Island, all the way to Palos Verdes. You can even see the buildings of downtown Los Angeles in the corner as well, which is really remarkable. And down below me, we actually have your side yard further taking you into your backyard section, which we will be seeing in just a bit. So make sure to stick around for that. And I wanna take you guys all back inside of the property. As I said, super open, bright, airy, and take a turn over to my right-hand side and we have access into your formal dining room section. Currently staged to sit eight of your guests. As I said earlier, beach staging all throughout. Look at the starfish that they have just placed on the center of the table. Couple more starfish on that dresser over there. Just overall a really nice vibe and theme inside of here. Now also you have this French door access as a part of the formal dining, taking you out to that shared balcony, which extends a lot further, which we will see again in just a bit. And then as I mentioned, the staging all around the property is just truly, truly gorgeous. Starfish and shells throughout. It's really cool, really reminds you that you're right next to the beach. Now we continue our tour through this section and we have access into your well-appointed kitchen area. We've got a five burner stove top in the center, built-in dishwasher, fridge setup, microwave, natural light coming in all throughout, beautiful views of the ocean. And you'll see a continuation of the Spanish tile floors, breakfast bar seating for up to three of your guests, marble countertops all throughout as well, built-in hood design right above the stove top, tons of custom cabinetry, extremely well appointed. You've got all of your built-in appliances, all designed by KitchenAid. And then we have access into another living section. But before we see that, I also wanna mention that you have your dining table currently shown to sit four in this little informal section, skylight assembly displayed right above. And also you get access into the massive balcony, over 200 feet of ocean frontage. It is truly, truly something special. And you also have the really unique kind of rustic blue cabinetry right here, again, to remind you that you were just minutes away from the beach. And it's also complemented well with the light colored cabinetry. Really, really nice. Now we continue our tour 
Over here, we've got your family section. Again, floor to ceiling windows bring in natural light to this space all day long. You have tons of built in cabinetry right in front of me, mounted flat screen TV, views out into your pool and your private tennis court, and of course, more ocean frontage views, all the palm trees as well, which is a part of your estate. We continue through, we have another nice little seating section. Again, the staging all around the property is just so unique. Look at this table positioned on these wheels. It's kind of like a basket. And you also have more starfish all throughout. I just think that's such a cool little detail. And then, got your built-in fireplace clad with some nice tile designs. Now, of course, we have that balcony overlooking your gorgeous backyard space. And we also have a private spiral staircase, which takes you up to all of the levels. I think that's a really cool little detail. And then on my left-hand side, we've got your powder room, blue tiles throughout to match the blue wallpaper. As I said, they're sticking to that beach theme all throughout the property. Now, follow me up here. We've got some more nice rustic styled beach staging. Just look at this cabinet right here, super rustic blue style. Again, it really reminds you that you are right at the beach. Now, one more really cool little detail. We got your elevator access with this accordion sliding door further taking you in completely wood clad. I think that is such a cool little detail. Then of course we get views of your open atrium design and artistic staircase. And that pretty much wraps up our tour of this entire main level. And now we're gonna head down below and check out the entire lower entertainment floor and then the backyard. So let's do it right now. All right, everyone, so we have just made it down into the lower level of the property. As we saw earlier, we have that unique open atrium design with the skylight positioned up in the center, letting in tons of natural light to every single floor. And I actually wanna take you all down this hallway right over here. And on my left-hand side, we have access into the first guest bedroom of this lower level. Of course, we're getting tons of natural light. You have some picture windows looking out to your foliage, and you can even see a glimpse of the ocean and Palos Verdes in the distance built-in ceiling fan above me. And as we continue our tour through this bedroom, we've got, of course, your walk-in closet space. We have vertical paneled cedar wood and of course, floor to ceiling storage inside of here. And next to the space, we actually have your ensuite bathroom, nicely tiled countertops, glass enclosed walk-in shower space, definitely checks all the boxes. And I wanna continue our tour down through the rest of this lower level space. So follow me down over here. We've got a nice little closet area displayed on my left. And if you follow me right down this hallway, we have access into a couple of other guest bedrooms. Let's check out this one over here on my left-hand side. You've got nice hardwood floors displayed all throughout here. Of course, you've got your walk-in closet space with tons of built-in storage. And then we've got the ensuite bathroom displayed on my left-hand side, complete with a glass enclosed walk-in shower space and a beautiful vanity setup. Now let's head outside of this one. We have one more bedroom down here to check out. Follow me straight ahead. We've got access into yet another guest bedroom. Tons of natural light just pouring into this room. And we have this set of French doors, which further connects you back into your backyard space, which we will be seeing very shortly. So of course, make sure to stick around for that. And then we have this sliding pocket door right here, taking you into your ensuite bathroom, nicely tiled vanity setup, complete with a walk-in glass enclosed shower and a little clear story window looking out to the foliage. Now also, I forgot to mention, you've got a very massive walk-in closet space, of course, complete with a vertical paneled cedar wood all throughout and floor to ceiling storage as well. Now, one more item displayed at the end of the hallway, you have this glass panel door further taking you out into a little side yard. And that staircase is actually gonna take you back up into your front door entry. I just thought I wanted to mention that really quick, not to confuse anybody. And we're gonna continue our tour down this hallway and we have one more little room inside of the hallway too. So on my right hand side, we have access into your laundry room, space for two appliances. Of course, you've got tons of cabinetry, floor to ceiling all throughout this room. You've got a built-in sink setup. Imagine washing your clothes and you look out and you see the ocean in the distance. It looks truly stunning. And one more thing I did also want to mention is that you actually have this laundry chute. So imagine you're on level three and you don't wanna take all of your dirty clothes down the stairs, just throw them down the chute and they just appear inside of your laundry room. Pretty convenient to have, I think. Now let's take a turn outside of this bedroom space. 
as I mentioned earlier, super open atrium design, which I just love. And now I wanna take you all this way. Before we check out that great room, there's a little hallway in here that I wanna mention. And this hallway is gonna contain a couple of different closet spaces. You even have your very own sauna section complete with nice vertical paneled wood displayed all throughout. And at the far end of this hallway, you also have a full size bathroom space. Now let's head outside of this hallway because we have pretty much the largest space inside of the lower floor. And you follow me through here. And this spot is gonna take you into your lower level great room, super ideal for entertaining. Of course, we have a stage pool table, stage foosball table, built-in fireplace, seating sections. You have everything you can possibly imagine in this living space. Of course, we've got floor to ceiling shelving spaces displayed in front of me. We have a flat screen TV mounted. And if you don't wanna watch TV, you can just nicely close up the section too, which I think is always nice. Great option to have. You've got the ceiling fan displayed in the center of this room. Of course, tons of natural lights all throughout. You have this set of French doors further taking you out into the backyard space, which we are about to check out. So of course, make sure to stick around for that. Amazing ocean views that we have been seeing throughout the rest of the property tour. And I wanna take you all through here and we have a built-in kitchenette section. And of course, complete with a four burner induction cooktop. You've got a microwave. You even have some built-in refrigeration right over here and an ice maker in case you're making drinks for your guests. Built-in sink area, of course, countertops are nicely tiled and you have some bar seating for a few of your guests at the opposite side of this countertop. And I mentioned this section a little bit earlier, the fireplace. I wanted to also highlight that it's completely enclosed with these brick details and overall it's a really nice and spacious living area. Now that pretty much wraps up our tour for this entire lower floor. And now you see the pool behind us. We gotta check out the backyard, let's do it. So we have just made it out into your stunning backyard area right off of the lower level great room. We have a little seating area shaded off by this balcony. And as I talked to you all about earlier, you've got that spiral staircase design taking you back up to each floor in the property, which I thought is something really cool that of course I wanted to mention to you all. And we have your absolutely massive pool section. This pool is the size of some community pools that I've seen. This is pretty, pretty crazy. And you'll notice displayed at the far end of the pool, you have a hot tub, which actually doubles as a water feature, pouring in that hot water into your main pool, make your pool nice and warm all day long while you're relaxing out here with your friends and your family. You can probably have like 50 to 75 people inside of this pool area, play some volleyball, relax, or if it gets too cold at nighttime, just relax in your hot tub area. And did I mention while you're at this section, of course, you're getting views of Palos Verdes, of downtown Los Angeles in the distance, Catalina Island, amazing panoramic views. And something else I like about this backyard specifically is the fact that it's lined with all of these palm trees on this side. And then you'll notice up above the tennis court too, which I'll show you in just a little bit. And something else I do wanna to talk to you all about if you follow me up this little way right here, we have stair access up into your tennis court, and then we've got your greenhouse on my right, and then a pool bathroom on my left. But let's check out the tennis court. So here we are at the grand tennis court. It's of course regulation size. It's also set nicely below the street level as well. So any cars that are driving by, they'll have no idea that you're playing tennis with all your friends and your family down here, which is pretty cool. Of course, as I said earlier, up above, it's also nicely lined with palm trees as well, giving you that tropical feeling while you're down here at your very own private tennis court. And while you're playing tennis, you're getting views of your private pool, of the ocean in the distance. And this section is also nicely gated as well. So when you're playing tennis, you don't have to worry about a tennis ball going into your pool or into the neighbor's backyard. Absolutely not gonna happen. Nicely gated, completely sectioned off from the rest of the property, super private. And if you wanna play a game of basketball, you can see that they've actually staged a little hoop over there in the corner. So this doesn't just have to be a tennis court if you don't want it to be. You definitely have options. Now that pretty much wraps up our tour of the entire backyard space, the main level and the lower level. So now of course we have to head up to level three and check out the rest of the remaining bedrooms. So let's go ahead and do it. So 
now we're approaching the third and final level of the property. Before we head up, I just want to mention that we have your four car garage access on my left hand side. Now, as I mentioned earlier, of course, we have the huge open atrium design, skylight above, bringing in natural light to every single level. And as we continue up, we've got your elevator access and straight ahead of me, we have these double doors further taking us out into the beautiful primary bedroom suite. As you first come in, we'll see a continuation of those hardwood floors. Of course, super spacious. You've got access into your bathroom space on my left. But before we see that, you head down these steps and you actually have this really cool kind of sectioned off living area as a part of your primary bedroom suite. You've got bench seating, of course, looking out to the amazing views, some built-in cabinetry under that space as well. Over on my left, you've got a nice seating area, completely built-in fireplace incorporated into your primary suite which is awesome. Of course, we got the closet across the way, but before we see that, we've got another little balcony space right here. I mean, just taking the views, look how gorgeous this is. I know we've been saying that pretty much from every room of the house, but imagine waking up in that bed every morning and just looking out at the ocean in the distance. Of course, you got a nice little seating section here, and it's a really large balcony too, because you can walk all the way down here. Seriously stunning, this is awesome. Have all your friends up here too, choice is yours. Now let's head back inside of the section and we've got super tall vaulted ceilings inside of the space, built in ceiling fan as well. On the far side, we've got some custom cabinetry and let's go ahead and take a look at the closet spaces really quickly. So of course we got his and hers displayed on my left and my right hand side, custom cabinetry, floor to ceiling on both of them. And in this closet particularly, you've got some nice transparent cabinetry featured all throughout. You've got absolutely plenty of space to hold all your clothing, floor to ceiling storage, even an integrated skylight in here too, which I think is really awesome. And then of course, we'll see a continuation again of that custom wooden paneling displayed all throughout. Now, something else that I really like about these two closets is what's featured in between them. So open up this little door right here, further taking you out into the second private patio space at the primary suite, overlooking your tennis court. Pretty cool to have. Now I'm gonna close up this door right here and we are gonna go check out the primary bathroom suite. Follow me this way. We'll see that that hardwood floor transitions into a nice blue tile design, further taking us into the bathroom area. Of course, upon entering, we've got your tub situated on my right hand side, penny blue tiling displayed on the interior and you also have some built-in bench seating inside of your tub, which is a unique little detail that I don't see very often. Of course, you got a skylight assembly right above that too. So you can soak in all of that beautiful natural light while you're relaxing in your bathtub. And then of course, you can be looking out at the ocean as well. You also have a little private balcony displayed in front of me, of course, looking out to the ocean, which is really gorgeous. And then we've got dual sink setups on either side of this partition. And let's talk about this one specifically, nicely tiled over here on the countertops. You got the mirror that goes up to the ceiling and you have another little kind of third vanity setup with a triple mirror extending up to the ceiling. Really ideal to have before getting ready for a large event or something like that. And then on the opposite side of this vanity, we have pretty much the exact same setup with similar custom wooden cabinetry displayed right below that. And then I wanna to talk to you all about your glass enclosed walk-in steam shower space. So the glass panel door is actually a pivot door, which I just noticed. You have the similar penny blue tile displayed on the interior of that, nicely tiled again up to the ceiling. Super nice. And what else I really love about this primary bathroom setup is that you have not one, you have two balconies just in your bathroom alone. Let's take a look outside of here really quickly. And of course you're getting views of your backyard oasis, views of your tennis court, and more importantly, views of Catalina Island and the entire ocean in the distance. And that's not all, this balcony extends actually a little bit further out. So you can have some seating areas out here. And then we actually have access into that private spiral staircase, which I mentioned to you all just a little bit earlier. This is where it takes you up to the third and final floor. And overall, this view is just truly tremendous. Now let's head back inside of the bathroom space. Over on my right hand side, we also have access into your water closet, but I wanna take you all back down through this section. I also noticed that we have some built-in shelving on either side of your bathtub. Pretty cool to have. Checked out pretty much everything inside of this section. Now follow me back out through here and we are back into the open atrium design. Of course, skylight bringing in tons of natural lights. And we take a turn over to my left-hand side and we have access 
into the other guest bedroom located here on this floor. Positioned in the center of this guest bedroom, we have a nice skylight assembly, letting in tons of natural light into the space all day long. And also I noticed they have a little blinds mechanism too, so if you don't want all that natural light, you can simply close it off. Now on my right hand side, we're gonna take a look inside of here. You have access into your ensuite bathroom. And you can also nicely section it off with this little privacy door. And then we've got your double sink set up with medicine cabinets above each one. Pretty cool, nicely mirrored. And then on the left hand side, you've got your glass enclosed walk-in shower space, nicely tiled all throughout. You've got your matte silver fixtures and you also have built-in bench seating too. Now that's not all for this guest bedroom. There's one more really unique feature that we have to talk about, and that is gonna be your private balcony just looking out to these simply stunning views. Now next to me, we also have some mirrored closet spaces, and then you also have some additional storage going up to the ceiling, and then private little attic access in here as well. And then of course, nicely close it off if you wish. Now let's continue our tour outside of this bedroom space. And now follow me through here and we are back out into that upper floating hallway section. And you follow me up these steps right over here and we have access into your third level retreat area. You can see that you can actually nicely section off this area with these little curtains, which I think is pretty cool. But of course, it's still completely open concept. I can see straight down the open atrium design down into my lower living space and my front entry. And we come a little bit more through this section. Of course, it's nicely staged. You've got a flat screen TV with some custom cabinetry displayed below. We have a couple guest bedrooms on my right hand side, but I actually wanna take you to my left really quickly so we can check out this bedroom right over here. Of course, you're getting a ton of natural light. You get views out into your private street and you have this French door access further taking you into a private balcony where you were literally right above your very own private tennis court. This is real luxury. This is seriously something special. You also, of course, have views down into your pool area, but overall, a view that you don't see in most properties. This is really, really cool. Now let's head back inside the bedroom and we continue our tour through here. Of course, we've got your closet space on my left. And then on my right hand side, we have access into your ensuite bathroom with nicely tiled floors and a glass enclosed walk-in shower space. Now let's continue our tour outside of this bedroom. Of course, we got the hardwood floors displayed all throughout this level. And let's take a turn to my left-hand side. We have access into another guest bedroom on this level. We've got your walk-in closet space on my right. You got vaulted ceilings, tons of natural light, of course. And this time we actually have a shared balcony displayed on this level. And this balcony is actually going to connect us into the bedroom displayed over on my left-hand side. But you follow me out here and of course, you get those stunning ocean views that we've been seeing throughout the rest of the property tour. You got views of Palos Verdes, even downtown LA, very far in the distance. Imagine seeing it from OC. I mean, seriously, that's crazy. And then, of course, you also have views of your entire front walkway down a little bit into your private garden section. And I actually want to take you all back through this side of the balcony and check out the other bedroom from this side. So here we are. We've got another vaulted ceiling inside of this section tons of built-in shelving extending all the way up to the ceiling. This is currently staged as more of a children's room. You have a little children's trampoline over here in the corner, and then you still get views out into your private street. As we said, it's a 24-hour guard-gated community, very safe and private inside of this location. Now, we have one more little section to show you, and this is going to be your bathroom. It's a full-size bathroom. Of course, you've got a glass-enclosed walk-in shower space, nicely tiled up to the ceiling, and if you don't want to take a shower, you also have a nice bathtub inside of this section, also nicely tiled all around that, even tiled up on the walls. And then you've got your double vanity space, similar tiling over there on the countertops, and you have these stained glass windows as well. Pretty cool. Now let's head outside of this bathroom space, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to wrap up this tour of 21 Ridgeline, located here in Newport Beach, California. If you stuck around to the end of this tour, I just wanted to say thank you, of course, so much for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, comment down below if you haven't already, and make sure to hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a brand new tour. Also, thank you so much to the listing agent, Manel, for allowing us to tour her listing, and I'll see you in the next tour.